Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we look at disgraceful and harmful news in the Express that a judge has ruled that the terrorist bride Shamima Begum should return home for an appeal against her citizenship being stripped away from her. And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. It's titled, Shamima Begum should return to the UK, judge, judge rules in favour of ISIS bride. Shamima Begum the East London schoolgirl who travelled to Syria to join the so-called Islamic State so-called, they're not so-called, it is Islamic State should be allowed to return to the UK no, shun, to challenge the de deprivation of her British citizenship senior judges have ruled Firstly, begging for forgiveness is not a bloody schoolgirl Secondly, let's not forget this girl said she'd walked past a bin full of heads Heads, yeah, and it didn't phase her This girl is not innocent and our scum media are making her out to be Thirdly, this was entirely expected wasn't it really everyone come on i know it's infuriating but we all saw it coming didn't we what with our court system go geared to give numerous attempts at appeal which brings me on to the final point this girl alone has cost the uk taxpayer over thirty thousand pounds so far in legal aid yep you heard that right 30k look at this absolutely disgusting abuse of our systems pretty and boris Get this sorted, the court appeal system needs a complete overhaul in my opinion. But what say you? Let's read this shall we and see how far the mighty Britain has fallen. Begum, who left the UK aged 15 to join ISIS, travelling to Syria, hit the headlines last year when she announced her intention to return to the UK. A move which was sub subsequently blocked by the Home Office, and rightly so in my opinion. Today the Court of Appeal ruled that the only way in which she can have a fair and effective appeal is to be permitted to come into the United Kingdom to pursue her appeal. No, we've got something called Skype. She could do it from where she is. Absolutely ridiculous excuse. Lord Justice Flo, sitting with Lady Justice King and Lord Justice Singh said, are we ready for this? Fairness and justice must, on the facts of this case, outweigh the national security concerns. Are you kidding me? Nothing outweighs national security concerns. So that the leave to enter appeals should be allowed. The judge found that the national security concerns about her could be addressed and managed if she returns to the United Kingdom. It could be done from there. I actually think we should send her to where she committed the crimes, i.e. Syria. Let's send her there to, to be tried. Isn't that how it's usually done? In its ruling, the court said, if the security service and the director of public prosecutions consider that the evidence and public interest tests for a prosecution for terrorist offences are met, she could be arrested and charged upon her arrival in the United Kingdom and remanded in custody pending trial, or at least until the public have forgotten about her. Lord Justice Flo also said, with due respect to SIAC, it is unthinkable that having concluded that Miss Begum could not take any meaningful part in her appeal so that it could not be a fair and effective, she should have to continue with her appeal nonetheless. She shouldn't have to, she could appeal, but she can appeal from wherever she is and she can stop having to take taxpayers money to pay for it. I think it's absolutely ridiculous where she's able to use our money to pay for her to come back to our country when she's been denied. But what say you? It is difficult to conceive of, of any case where a court or tribunal has said we cannot hold a fair trial, but we are going to go on anyway. Ms Begum, now 20, travelled to Syria in February 2015 and lived under ISIS rule for more than three years before she was found. She actually chose to live under ISIS rule. They've, they've framed that to sound like it's a bad thing. She chose it. Nine months pregnant in a Syrian refugee camp in February last year. Begum was stripped of a UK citizenship by the then Home Secretary Sajid Javid last year. With the backing of the people, with the UK government insisting she was not re rendered stateless because she holds or is eligible for Bangladeshi citizenship. Yeah, she doesn't go there though, but Begum took legal action against the Home Office, which we paid for, claiming the decision was unlawful because it rendered her stateless and exposed her to real risk of death or inhuman and degrading treatment. I wonder what the people whose heads were in a bin were thinking. And do you think they were uh, wondering the same things? Absolutely disgusting, this article. In February, the Special Immigration Appeals Commission, a specialist tribunal which hears challenges to decisions to remove someone's British citizenship on national security grounds, ruled the decision was lawful as Miss Bigham was a citizen of Bangladesh by descent at the time of the decision. The tribunal also found that she cannot play any meaningful part in her appeal 
Yes, she can. She can do it all with a telephone or video conference or Skype or whatever other way you can do. The world is digital now, and that, to the extent, the appeal will not be fair and effective. Why, is her presence make, why does her presence make it fair? Isn't it about lawyers? I thought we thought it was. But ruled that, it does not follow that her appeal succeeds. Yeah, I think it probably does. They'll, ju they'll just use the, her age when she went. Ms Begum's challenge to the Home Office's decision to refuse to allow her to enter the UK to effect effectively pursue her appeal was also rejected. Begum was one of three schoolgirls from Bethnal Green Academy who left their homes and families to join ISIS. Shortly after, Shamina Begum, who is no relation, travelled to Syria in December. What's that got to do with anything? Khadiza Sultana and Amira Base, then 16 and 15, and Begum boarded a flight from Gatwick and they left. We don't need to go into that part of it. She told the Times last February that she left Raqqa in January 2017 with her husband, but her children, a one-year-old and three-year-old boy, had both since died. Reacting to the news, David Davis tweeted, I am afraid the return of Shamima Begum was entirely predictable. Yeah, I agree with David on this one, to be honest. I knew she was going to end up coming back, especially with the, the disgrace that is our appeals court system. They've got like 32 different options. They go through normal court, fail, appeal, fail, go through an extra court, fail, appeal, fail, and that's how it goes constantly. All the while, we're paying for it all, obviously. The government should now change this policy to bring back children and mothers where there is not an explicit risk. Former Brexit Party MEP Rupert Lowell tweeted, Disgraceful decision to allow Shamima Begum back into this country. She made her a decision outrageous. This country desperately needs serious reform. This can't be allowed to happen. Boris, sort it out. My feelings exactly on that one, to be honest. Now, what's my opinion on this? Well, this is another shame on our country, isn't it? She made her a bed. She should be forced to lie in it, in my opinion. And we definitely shouldn't have to pay for her court cases, especially seen as how the courts have now forced her return. The judges should be ashamed to state fairness is more important than national security. They should lose the lordship at the very least for that one, in my opinion. How dare they? Any lord that thinks our national security is secondary to fairness is a danger to our national security. This ruling could bring all of them back, i.e. the jihadi ISIS matchmaker, Jihadi Jack. Over 150 plus other extremists can now make similar claims for their removed citizenship. Absolutely terrifying this. We need to have this. Are you listening, Pretty and Boris? We demand an investigation into this court system when we need it reformed and we need it done now. No words, no hot air, actions. This is what we're after. But what say you, everyone? I'd like to know your opinion as well. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to with a like, comment, subscribe, bell icon. Share it out, everyone, because that helps me get around YouTube's crappy algorithms. <laughs> Stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.